Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nesham, we're gonna play Velvet Assassin. And this will be a walkthrough where we get all the secret objectives, all the collectibles, and we will do this at alien difficulty, the harder difficulty of this game. And we'll of course achieve the best rating of Assassin in this game, and so yeah, that's, that's the plan for this walkthrough. So let us start now with Agent, a play campaign, campaign for experienced players. Let's start and watch the cutscene. I long to be back in the war. That was my true home. We were inhuman beings. Butchers on a field full of corpses. Corrupt and depraved. Only some of this are our blood and bone. Creatures without souls. I was flown back to France to blow up a gigantic fuel depot, which the Germans had built in a bunker on the Maginot Line. The Reich was running out of oil. They guarded every barrel like the crown jewels. The main entrance was secured like the fear's bunker. Fortunately, every rat's nest has a second entrance. I had to try and find it. I jumped over a wooded area that bordered on the rear of the complex. Unfortunately, my equipment was stuck at the top of a blasted tree during the landing. To make matters worse, I saw that the area was guarded by Waffen SS troops. Those units had one basic rule take no prisoners, exactly like me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have started this wonderful game. One of the collectibles is actually here in the beginning of the game. And I really enjoy this game very much because it's beautiful and it's dreamy and it's a stealth game. This uh, uh, game was not very well received and here we have the collectible. It was not really well received but that's not an uh, uncommon thing by a stealth game. It's probably like when I, if I would play a sports game like American football or if I didn't understand the rules and why things are happening and how it works. I could easily take the soldier out of the way. I only had to be careful creeping up on him. And that would mean that I wouldn't enjoy that game very much because I don't understand it. And I think that's the mo mostly the case with stealth games. But I really enjoy this game. This is a kind of different stealth game. It has a different direction and 
as a World War II theme. Yeah, you can run here because those two guys in front of us, we are out of their field of vision. Uh, I had to wait until they separated. Yeah, we will uh, follow her advice here. So, yeah, so wait until they are separated. Hug the wall here and they won't be able to see you. Der Muff dort ist kaum auszuhalten. Wo ist eigentlich Hammer? Er ist vorn und bewacht die andere Brücke. Falls er überhaupt noch was peilt. Er ist schon wieder Sternhagel voll. Hm, kein Wunder. Was der erlebt hat, ist nicht so leicht zu verdauen. Naja. Ich vertrete mir noch ein bisschen die Beine. Mach das. Okay, as soon as this guy turns his wall, he can see here because we are behind the wall here. And we will take him out. And as I said, we will take all the secret objectives, all the collectibles in this uh, playthrough, and also the secret objectives. Uh, and one of the secret objectives of this mission is actually to uh, kill all the enemies silently. But we, I think we will manage that. So we are waiting for him to come back. And when he came, uh, come back, so as soon as he starts turns his uh, uh, back to us, we will follow him and take him out. I'm just airshipping myself more forward. But when you're playing on the harder difficulty here, um, it's actually we are actually moving slower. Uh, than everyone else, so we you really have to use your timing. And to get a familiar, uh, simil similar uh, uh, play uh, play experience as I have, I would recommend you to do, do the same upgrades in this game, like uh, what, what I'm choosing, because that will give you a, a similar experience what I'm doing here. Okay, cool. Let's get get him. And this guard actually has one of the. Uh, collectibles, as you can see, we can search this body, and that will give us a signet ring. And here is a third a collectible, and uh, uh, this upcoming session can be a little bit tricky because we have uh, two guards, and one guard is on a higher position and overwatching this uh, whole area, and it can be tricky. But if you follow my instructions and uh, do what I do, you will probably not have. So big problems with him. Okay, so we are sneaking into this shed here. And there we go. Cool. So let's continue. I could use the morphine here to increase my chances. I'm attacking uh, this guy there because the guy upstairs was moving in the right direction. If you, uh, doing anything to you can be unlucky that he will again. spot his friend here while you're killing him. After you killed him, and come out of morphine mode. Morphine mode is like a super mode where you can rush your enemies and take them out even if you're in front of them and it would count as a silent kill and now we have one of the remember to search his body for the key also and now is the tricky part because this guard is overwatching this position so we need to listen So when we heard here he move, it's our time to move. Okay, cool. <coughs> so now we need to be fairly fast. So when you hear the footsteps move, uh, and uh, the tricky part is that he does this turn around, and that's one of the moment he can spot you. Uh, Especially when he is at the most left of one, because that's what we remember we took out that guy in morphine mode. If he is standing there, he can turn around and spot you downstairs. So that's one of the drawbacks of playing on the hard difficulty. They are have very acute senses. So yeah, when this guard is turning around, we will go for the last collectible and go here 
and now it's the waiting game again because we we have this situation here. You can probably make it uh, here uh, without getting spotted, but you can be unlucky that he turns around when you're trying to move back under him. So it's uh, more safer to just wait him out. So once again, we're gonna wait until he moves in the other direction, and then we have time to move. Okay. Okay, cool. So now we can move. And it's a little bit trickier on the harder difficulty because the senses are so acute. So I have to do all this <laughs> dance. Okay, cool. So that was everything. Unlock door, open door, and we are finished. And as you can see, we got all the kills. You can't kill that guard upstairs. I've tried. It's impossible. Or maybe someone has. And all the silent kills, all collectibles, uh, total playtime, 7 minutes and 22 seconds. And all the experience points. So cool. So uh, let's uh, see the cutscene for the next uh, level. And in the next level, we will start exactly right in uh, right where the action begins. Okay, cool. The first step was done. I was finally in the bunker. The fuel depot was certain to be in the lowest level to protect it from bombing raids. The mishap with my lost equipment would not stop me, but without explosive charges, the situation was hopeless. But the Germans were sure to have explosives stored somewhere in the bunker. Soon they would see what they were good for. A German fuel depot and an explosive charge sounded like a very promising combination. The problem was I had to be back outside before this rendezvous developed chemistry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was everything for the first episode, and I hope you will join me in the next uh, walkthrough episode. So yeah, we're gonna upgrade our character. So, we increase mode duration, increase the speed of sneaking. I will go with sneaking. So let's just upgrade our character. Yeah, and next time we'll take more things. So yeah, that was everything for this episode, and as always, thank you for watching.